provide a detailed explanation of the changes that have occurred as a result of the pension being transferred to a fee. Okay, yeah, that one probably came in before we covered it. Right. Uh, yeah, essentially, uh, a portion of the company's pension liabilities, it's less than half of the pension liabilities, but it was a pretty good chunk. If I remember correctly, it was close to about 20% of the total pension liabilities. AT&T looks at retirees as a liability that they have to pay over time. And that liability was sold off to Athene. And so now Athene is responsible for paying these folks that are affected, which is many existing retirees, uh, pension payments. So now the direct deposits are coming from Athene rather than AT&T for the rest of that person's life, unless Athene decides to sell those liabilities off. Or if Athene goes out of business and it goes into PBGC. Uh, it doesn't affect uh, most employees. Like I mentioned, I think it's about 80% of the liabilities are still on AT&T. If you're still working, most likely uh, you are not affected by this. But if you're on this webinar, most likely you're still working with the company. And the reason we're talking about this is this is just one of the considerations. Uh, if you take that lifetime annuity from the company. It's a lifetime decision and it's really out of your control beyond that point. So make sure to do your due diligence when running your plan and compare very specifically the lump sum versus the annuity and what you stand, what risks you stand to take, whichever route you decide to go on your pension. 